guys, welcome to the channel. So today we are going to be doing a review on the FTX Outback High Rock. Which, uh, I've had this truck for a little while now, it's a really good little truck. If you take a little look at it, it's a one tenth scale uh, 4x4 truck. Comes ready to run out of the box, or 99% ready to run. The only thing you need is your uh, AA batteries for your uh, transmitter. So he's got a 2.4 gigahertz channel radio. Now he's got actually got a Hobbywing HW1040 40 amp waterproof ESC. Um, the ESC is well, as you can see, there it's kind of mounted in a little uh, box, and the, tr the receiver is mounted in the little box. And they, they do kind of say this truck is waterproof, but you know, be warned if it does get submerged. <laughs> doesn't like it very much all the time sometimes it'll have a little moment and then start like randomly driving around or just stop driving altogether so you do just need to be careful that you don't get it too wet um, it's got various other different things that you know hopefully you can see it I'll put a link down below where you can uh, have a look at the truck and read all the description while they're going too much of the techno babble so the truck comes 99% ready to run out of the box you just need your AA batteries uh, so I'll take a look at the actual truck itself which I just have over here Okay, so that is it. So it comes with your triple charger, uh, which has actually got a Dean's connector on it, which is what the battery is in the ESC, so it comes with that out of the box. Uh, it comes with your instruction manual, blah, blah, blah. And then also comes with your transmitter, which is actually a pretty nice transmitter. I think it is actually a Dumbo RC transmitter, but don't hold me to that. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a multi-channel transmitter, so it's, you know, it feels nice. You know, throttle and reverse are pretty good. Steering's nice and responsive. Switch it on and off on the side here, and then you have your lights on the side here as well that you can just switch on and off. You can switch between reverse and normal for your steering and your throttle. You've got all your throttle trims and your steering trims. Um, the truck itself can take either um, a, a nickel high drive battery or um, a lipo battery. So we take a little look at the truck. Pop these pins out. Okay, so you can see the, the shell, you know, nice looking shell. Uh, it comes with spotlights on the front, at the top. Uh, they don't actually come with the LEDs, but you can buy them at an additional accessory for like seven to nine pounds, something like that. And you get your two headlights on the front. And then, just the back. It's actually like a you know, really solid shell, which is really nice. Um, you know, I've had quite a lot of tumbles with it, falling over on rocks, you're tumbling down sea walls, and you know, it's, it's still looking in pretty good condition, I think, to be fair, which is good, and I think it looks quite nice as well. Okay, so the truck itself. So, comes with your 2000 milliamp hour nickel hydride battery uh, with a Dean's connector, so that comes in the box with it. You can see mine is covered in sand because mine's been down the beach a fair few times. So here we've got our ESC, here we've got our receiver, we've got our additional channels here for things like lights or winches and things like that. You've got your 550 17 turn motor and you've got your 15 kilogram steering servo. You have uh, LEDs, lights on the front and the rear. Swing it around, you can have a look at that. On the back as well. Uh, now the only thing I would mention on these is where the light, where the wiring is for the lights, they do get water in them and then they do easily just break as you can see here. Uh, mine have already snapped off, I've actually only still got one working LED so you can buy a replacement wiring kit for, I think I paid maybe £4 or something for mine to rewire it but it's just obviously a bit of a, bit of a pain in the bum that's all. Um, but it's just something to bear in mind that you know they are a bit fragile and where the wires are located you know when you pick it up with a bumper and stuff like that or when you're driving it around you know they can get caught and, and they come really tight from the factory which I think is one of the reasons why they snap anyway other than that it's okay the battery tray uh, comes with these straps which are really good they do hold the battery in place it actually comes all the way back here from the factory but you can move it along you a lot of people move onto this center mount piece here but i thought it was a little bit flimsy so i actually just drilled another hole for the tray and just spread it across the back a little bit um, but obviously it's up to you where you want to mount it take a little look underneath uh, the ESC, the switch to actually turn the truck on is underneath, which another thing I do find that if you are going to be driving it through water and stuff like that, it does get a bit of water damage, I would say. Uh, I've 
try and get into the habit of coating the truck in GTA 5 and to be honest even just the switch as well which some people might say you shouldn't do that but I've found since coating the switch in a bit of GTA 85 it has helped stopped it from getting so crusty and, uh, and they're not working uh, it's been fine most of the time when it's just gone through fresh water like streams and things like that but when you take it down the beach and it gets stuck in uh, sea water uh, obviously you know it does uh, it's pretty corrosive and it eats away at everything but yeah so yeah, we got our rear axle, front axle, we got our multi-link suspension, it comes with um, your coilovers, uh, or I should say shocks and springs, they're not really coilovers are they to be fair, um, but they're a bit soft um, out of the box, so you do find that when you're driving along it does like shift the weight and kind of then turns torque steer, torque steer a little bit so I actually just got these stiffer springs which again I think they were like three pounds off eBay uh, same length same diameter but they're just a bit stiffer uh, and it does seem to help um, the only thing to bear in mind is if you do fit the stiffer strings because they are stiffer it does push the chassis up a little bit so you know it does raise it up a little bit now that's another if I go through some of the issues that I've found so far with this truck one would be the LED lights you know where they've come got a bit crusty and, and, and broken uh, that would be one kind of flaw two would be it is very top heavy so if you're crawling and you're rock crawling with it then you do find that you know it will tip over quite a bit um, you know it's fine for the trail truck and things like that but if you go in rock crawling you know it will tip over so I've actually ordered some different springs uh, and I'm actually going to get some shock um, mounting points so you can actually mount the shocks higher so you can actually bring the chassis down uh, but still keeping the same axle clearance for the ground. Uh, hopefully then that'll make a bit of a difference so that it doesn't fall over so much. Uh, the standard tyres are actually pretty good, you know, they're quite supple, they're quite squishy. Um, you know, they grip fairly well, but obviously it's an easy enough upgrade just to change to some metal wheels and some better tyres. Uh, and you can, because the axles are plastic, you can uh, either just change the cover for Ali, uh, or you can get um, aluminium axles, uh, which are about... I think they're about £40 for a pair for the front and the rear. Uh, you can get portal axles as well, but you're looking at about £130 for the portal axles, so it depends on how much money you want to spend. So steering. It's actually really good. Nice and fast. And like I said, it does handle rocks and everything really well. Um, Drive-wise. You know, you can crawl it nice and slowly back and forth. You can really control the throttle nicely. You know, you can crawl on nice and slow, or you can go a bit faster as well. Uh, reverse is a little bit savage. On the nickel hydride, it's fine. But if you stick it on a lipo, reverse is like, you know, you'll do like nose wheelies, stoppies, you know, things like that. Uh, so it can be pretty savage. So just be aware of that. The ESC can take a 2S or a 3S LiPo. I actually run mine with a 3S LiPo, which sometimes I think can be a little bit too aggressive for it. Um, we'll have a get to another point on the axles, the, sorry, the drive shafts in a moment. Uh, but I personally run mine with a 3S just because I had a 3S lying around for another one. And I thought, why not give it a try? Uh, so I run mine on the 3S. But it does, you know, you get good battery life on the nail hydrides. Um, I mean, I can probably get on a, on a LiPo hours and hours of runtime. Uh, out of it you know driving around rock crawling you know driving it around as fast as it goes and everything so you know you can get good good run time out of it just take a look at the lights so one of them's not working because the other one's Brian's broken as well so I've actually lost one of those as well yesterday but you know you can see there you know it's hard to tell outside but they're actually pretty bright lights you know they do light up quite nicely in the night okay so another things I was going to mention about issues with it is the drivetrain. Now, here, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but they do have these little plastic pins that hold the drive shaft on. And because it's plastic, you know, especially on the 3S, you know, when you're driving it, they do have a tendency to um, twist off, uh, which is not very good. And then the other thing for the gearbox uh, drive shaft, it's hard to see in there, but uh, the the grub screw uh, has a tendency to come loose, so you do want to get some Loctite. I mean, I'll get Loctite on all of them, to be honest, because they do have a tendency to come loose. Um, but other than that, I would say, you know, the main issues are the LED lights coming off, uh, the grub screws and the drivetrain twisting and coming off, and the fact that it's just a little bit top heavy. Other than that, I would say it is a really cool truck. Um, I've been really happy with it. 
Um, you know, I think it's, I, mean, I paid two hundred and eighty pounds for mine from Model Sport, uh, and I'm you know I've been really happy with it. I think it's a great little truck. Um, you know, I've ordered some uh, metal wheels, new tyres. Um, I've actually bought the uh, aluminium axles as well, which I'll stick those on and do another review so you can see what they look like, and I'll do a, uh, a bit of a comparison to show what it was like before and afterwards. Uh, I'll put some um, clips in this video as well of it in action on the 3S, but also I'll do a couple of clips of it just toppling over so you can see what I mean about it being a little bit top heavy. Um, but yeah, I hope you've found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Thank you.